To create an Apple ID, follow these steps. On a Mac or iOS device, open the App Store or iTunes Store on your Mac or iOS device. Search for a free app and click on Get or Download. You may be prompted to sign in or create an Apple ID. Click on Create Apple ID. On a Windows PC, download and open iTunes from the official Apple website. In the upper left corner of the iTunes window, click Account and then select Sign In. Click on Create New Apple ID. Through a web browser, go to the Apple ID account creation page by visiting appleid.apple.com. Click on Create your Apple ID. Follow these general steps, fill in your personal information, including your first and last name, email address, this will be your Apple ID, and a password. Make sure your password is secure, containing both letters and numbers. Choose your country or region and enter your date of birth. You might be asked to enter a verification code sent to the email address you provided for added security. Agree to the terms and conditions. You can choose whether to subscribe to newsletters and updates from Apple. Provide answers to security questions. These will help you recover your account if you forget your password. Verify your identity by providing a phone number. You can choose to receive a verification code via text message or a phone call. Enter the verification code sent to your phone. Set up payment method, you'll need to add a payment method, either a credit slash debit card or PayPal. This will be used for purchasing apps, music, or other content from Apple. If you don't want to add a payment method right away, you can select none. However, you'll need to add one later to make purchases. Verify your email. Apple will send a verification email to the address you provided. Open the email and click on the verification link to confirm your email address. Congratulations! Your Apple ID is now created, and you can use it to sign into the App Store, iTunes, iCloud, and other Apple services. Remember to keep your Apple ID and password secure, as they grant access to your personal information and digital purchases. It's also a good practice to enable two-factor authentication for added security. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and share the useful knowledge.